and welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to talk about bonding with rescue rats or rats from a pet store background and although I did a really similar video to this a few months ago and those tips do still apply, there were some rats that I got from a breeder and it definitely makes things look a lot easier so I wanted to show you the first week home of my new rescue rats because I am doing things slightly differently, things like letting them run around and free roam in the bathroom. I'm not even going to attempt to do that in the first week, so there are a few differences and I'm taking things a lot slower. I do get some comments from people saying they've had the rats a week and they're disappointed they're not making much progress. Now for nervous rats, a week is not much time at all. And even little things, things like when you first got them on the first day, if they weren't taking treats or food, and then by the end of the week they are taking that from you, even that is progress. So all rats take different amounts of time to get used to you, and rescue rats and pet store rats most of the time do take a lot longer. Best case scenario, you have got rats from a rescue, and although genetically they might not have been bred to have a good, friendly temperament, that rescue has put hours and hours into socialising them and making them friendly. Worst case scenario, you're getting rats from a pet store where, for the first eight weeks of their life, they've probably never been touched by a human, and if they have, it's been a negative experience, things like picking them up by their tails. So you have to give allowances for those rats to take some time to get used to people, it's not going to be a quick fix, you are going to have to put the effort in, and know what you're taking on. But whether you are adopting rats, or getting rats from a rescue, or rescuing the rats yourself, or you're going down the route of going to a pet store, even though you know I don't advise doing that, that is your choice. As long as you know what you're getting yourself into, and you're prepared for the rats to possibly not ever be fully tame, and not enjoy being handled, not all rats are going to be like that, and that's okay. You just kind of have to accept them for who they are. As long as you're aware of that, that's the main thing. So when it comes to bonding with rats, specifically rats that are a bit more nervous, there's kind of two ways you can do things. The first way is a bit more patient, where you just take things very, very slowly and take things at the rat's pace. Let them decide what they want to do, if they want to come up to you, if they want to be handled or not. And then there's also the confidence method where you basically just act like they're any other rat, any rat that enjoys being handled, and just go for it, pick them up, have them close to you, don't let them sense any sort of fear, and if you're confident they should also reciprocate. So I kind of do a combination of both of these. I will give them maybe half the week, just taking things very, very slowly, and letting them make the choices, and then I will try to fast track the process, and just treat them like any of my other rats. So. This is how I bonded with my two new rescue rats in the first week of bringing them home. Okay, so I'm gonna talk as quietly as possible so I don't scare them, but because they are rescues and they are pet store rats, I'm not gonna bother them at all on day one or even maybe on day two. I'm just gonna put them in. They've got plenty of things to get used to. I'm gonna turn the lights off, keep it very, very quiet, and just leave them alone. So I am gonna to have to handle them to put them into the cage, but I'm gonna make sure it's very quick. I'm not gonna mess around with them. I'm not gonna to try to cuddle them or anything because they are quite scared, and I just want to leave them alone. So I'm gonna put them in now. When it comes to cages like this for pet store rats or rescue rats, you're kind of on a fine line between obviously making it busy and fun, and they won't really touch much of it for the first couple of days anyway, but trying to make sure it's still enriching, but not adding too much where they're hiding and you can't really get to them. All of the hides and hammocks in here, I can easily remove if I have to, check on them to make sure they're okay, so nothing that's too difficult to not be able to get to them. That's also really important, so it's about finding a balance between obviously making it full and then feeling really safe and secure, but also having access to them. Biting, please. No biting. No. Be nice. Hi, hi. I come bearing food. 
Are you hungry? Can we make friends? I think you want to make friends. I think you want to make friends. Because you're being very brave. And very hyper. Hello. Oh my gosh, it's so dark. I can't see you. That's better. What's this? Oh my goodness, so brave. Yum. <laughs> Good boy. So, because they're not as scared as I thought and they did eat all of their food yesterday, I'm going to scatter feed the rest. I know, I'm sorry. In their bedding. Oh. I don't want to scare you. It's coming. Oh my goodness. Sorry. So now I'm just going to pull up a chair and sit here really quietly and just talk to them whilst they eat. And hopefully the other guy will come down too. So I would recommend with rats like this, having them in an area of the house where it is quiet and they can settle, but maybe do things like playing a radio or having a TV on really quiet, just so it's not silent and they're not too jumpy when you do actually come in. And just coming in and talking to them and getting them used to the sound of your voice. There he is. But I don't have a TV or a radio or anything, so I'm just making sure to come in here every so often and just talking to them or talking to myself. And I do actually have this as my office, so I do need to pack orders in here at some point. But I know the noise of like the tape gun and all of that is going to be really scary. So I'm holding off. I apologise if your orders were slightly delayed. But I might have to do that in a separate room if they're still jumping at things. They seem to be really jumpy at sudden noises, which is to be expected. So they're not too bothered by my voice. But other things are quite scary. So just trying to keep things nice and calm and quiet. And... He's come down now. Good boy, being so brave. <laughs> oh my goodness. Is he a bit much for you? Is he bugging you? Have you got the zoomies? <laughs> You've got the zoomies? Oh my goodness. You are going to be a handful. I think you're scaring your brother. I know. Is he scaring you? So we're on day two now and I do recommend if they are curious enough to come up to you, don't force anything, don't try to grab them or pick them up as you might do with a breeder rat that's already used to being handled. Just stick your hand in and I do recommend using the back of your hand because it hurts less if they do happen to bite you, which if they do, don't blame them because they are rescues or if they've come from a pet store background. That is a lot more to be expected so just use in the back of your hand just in case just to allow them to sniff you and get used to you and just let them choose to come up to you on their own time. It's about taking things slow in the first couple of days and then you can really start to try to fast track the bonding process. Because he's being so brave I'm going to whip out the big guns, I've got the malt paste out. He's probably never had this before but he can definitely smell this so let's see if he likes this or not because this is literally the key to bonding with any rat and I can't get any out the tube. Hang on buddy, it's coming. Yum. We're gonna be friends. This is how we're having to do with this guy. A peace offering. <laughs> okay, that'll do for today because I don't want them getting upset stomachs because they're eating a lot of foods they've never had before, which they should have done, but they haven't, so I'm gonna leave them with that. I see you. I see you. Good boy. Where are you going? Here. Got it. <laughs> Hello. Got you some food. Are 
you go. I'll leave it there for you. I see you. <laughs> Okay, so it is now day four and they've been doing really well. They've been making really slow progress, taking treats, coming up to me, really looking interested in coming out, but they are still quite scared. They are still running if I come into the room and if I make a noise that's unexpected. They are still quite flighty, so they're making good progress, but from here on out, I am gonna try to be a lot more confident with them. I've given them a few days to settle in and I'm still doing things a bit differently than I would if I was having rats from a breeder. But there's two ways you can really go about this. You can either carry on with making slow progress and taking things really slow, which can work for some rats and just hoping that they come around. Or you can try the confidence method, which is quite scary to them, but basically they can sometimes sense if you're a bit nervous, if you're a bit hesitant about picking them up. You've just got to act confident and like you're not worried about anything and they won't pick up on that. And it's just kind of fast tracking the process while they're still young and small and not giving them too much time to mature and get used to being scared. So for this, I have this bonding bag, which I've had for a while. This is from Amazon. It does have a hammock in which I'm gonna take out. But essentially all this is, is a bag that you wear on you and they have to sit in this and get used to you, used to you handling them and touching them and being close to them, which is quite difficult to do when they're in the cage and hiding, you can't get them used to being handled if you can't reach them and get to them. So this does sometimes fast track the process. Obviously, of course, initially they are gonna be quite scared, but just make sure you don't have rats that are so scared they're actually jumping out and running. Most rats, if they are nervous, will choose to stay inside of this. So we're gonna try it, we're gonna see how it goes. Rats I've had previously from breeders have been fine, just fell asleep in this, but obviously these two are quite different. So we're gonna try it. They're not gonna like me trying to pick them up. Just take things slow, obviously, and don't try to traumatize them too much, but just act confident and they should hopefully reciprocate. I look like one of those guys that wears those weird bags to festivals. Not personally my favorite look, but Let's try and get them out. If you have rats that are nervous and either won't let you pick them up or you're scared to pick them up and you're worried about being bitten, using something like this, which is just a tube, either one that's already in the cage or one you can put in and wait for them to go in this, then obviously take this out and use that to transport them. That could be a lot easier in the first couple of weeks. If you're nervous or they're nervous and you have to transport them and you can't get them out, if you don't wanna be searching around, rootling around, scaring them, Using this can be really helpful. So he's gone in. I'm lifting this out. Okay, good boy. And then, there's so much bedding in here. Hi. Oh, he's turning. Hello. And he's in. Easy as that. You made that look so easy. One little baby on board waiting for him to go into the tube because I really don't want to grab him and scare him. And we have got him. Say hi. Oh, I know, so scary. You're being so brave. You're being so brave, good boy. Should we go in with your brother? Here you get them. You see him? Good boy. Right, let's go.
Okay, so it is now day five, I think, and I'm gonna free room them on the table. I've got some of their food to encourage them to come all the way out. And I know a lot of people would be tempted to when they first get rats, whether it's just rescue rats or baby rats, to try to play with them and let them out and let them run around. I wouldn't recommend doing that with rescue rats specifically, at least in the first week, because if you're not 100% sure they're gonna come back to you and you let them loose on your floor or in your entire house, they can easily get stuck under furniture and be really difficult to get out and you're going to scare them in the process of trying to rescue them from wherever they've got stuck. So I would recommend keeping it very, very small, just on a tabletop like this or on your sofa or your bed top. Most rats, especially baby rats, until they've learned how to do it, won't try to jump off things like beds or desks. They are quite cautious about things like heights, so I would recommend keeping them on a relatively small surface and just keeping it small scale because last thing you want is to lose your rats. <laughs> One thing that might also help I'm gonna do is to take some of the cage items in their cage that already have their scent on and place these outside in the free room area just so they're familiar with them and it helps them to encourage them out. But he is on the way, good boy. That's a very strange noise, huh? <laughs> Craziness! Craziness! What's out here now? What's out here now? Is that your tunnel? Oh my goodness. Come find it then. Come find it, good boys. Got it? Yay, good boy! You did it! You're out, see? It's not that bad. It's not too scary, huh? He's like, yes. Yes, it is in fact too scary. I'm going back in. <laughs> One thing that I find does help, and I can't demonstrate this right now because when I'm filming, I will get copyrighted and that's playing music or having background noise. And this just happened a moment ago. They got spooked and ran back inside because I dared to move my foot slightly and it made a weird noise. So having background noise does help just to cover up any sudden movements or noises that could spook them. They won't hear it or notice it as much. But they are back. Good job. I know that was scary, huh? So it's now day six and I've been doing everything that I've been doing at the beginning of the week. Just sitting and talking to them, giving them treats, giving them food, helping them to associate food with me and having them in the bonding pouch. But I've come up with a fun game that's helping them to associate being handled as a positive thing. I guess it is a form of positive reinforcement, but I'm gonna call it a game. And basically what I'm doing is picking them up, giving them short handling sessions, gradually increasing the time of handling them. He is off. Um, Gradually increasing how long I handle them for, and then putting them back, giving them a treat, and then repeating the entire thing. So, I will show you what I mean by that. Get your malt paste or your baby food ready, of course. This is an essential at this point. Good boy. We 
wiggly wiggly boy, wiggly wiggly boy. It's really hard to demonstrate this without getting my entire body in the way, but... end of my first week with my new rats and the end of this video i hope it has been helpful if you're struggling with your rats at the moment or you're thinking of getting rescue rats and you know it's going to be a lot of time and effort to get them to bond with you and i know i'm going to get a lot of comments under this video being like i've tried all of these tips i've been doing it for six months and my rats are still exactly the same it does get to a certain point where you just kind of have to accept that's how your rats are that's their personality all rats are individuals, all rats are different, and not all rats are going to enjoy interacting with you or being handled. And you can enjoy your rats in other ways, things like giving them enrichment, taking pictures of them. But if it is something that is bothering you and you are disappointed in your rats, it's probably worth considering where you get your next rats from. But that is the end of this video. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in my next video.